last met at the Spencer Estate, wasn't it? 今回ですね、えー、東京ゲームショーで2つの Here at TGS we're debuting for the first time、uh, two different controls games that users can select、uh, when they start to play the game One of them is the standard control style that is、uh, basically very similar to、uh, previous Resident Evil controls games、uh, such as in the one in four and the other one is called the shooter control style and、um, you could say that it's very similar to control schemes that you might see in FPS or TPS games In the shooter control scheme, you,、um, you can't move、um, while shooting, but what you can do is it makes it easier for you to strafe and to move horizontally. So、uh, it makes it a bit easier、um, for the users who are maybe more used to standard、uh, shooting game control schemes. When we're planning out,、um, for example, Resident Evil 5, we do have an idea of where we want the characters and situations to go in,、uh, you know, if there was to be a Resident Evil 6.、Um, however, you know, if we release the game and then we get feedback from the users about things that they liked or things that they didn't like, we will obviously take that into account when we're planning out future games in the series and the ideas that we have in our heads、uh, might change based on that. The story and the setting and the characters who appear are all very much tied together. So,、um, through setting the、uh, game in Africa,、um, you know, as a new setting for the game, something that was very different, we also wanted to have、uh, a new character who would appear in the game to support Chris, and, and that character、uh, became Sheva. My name is Sheva Alama. And also, Wesker is reappearing, and we also wanted to. Um, see how the balance would play out between、um, you know, a combination of、uh, Chris and Sheva, and on the other hand, Wesker and Vexella. This whole town's gone to hell. The AI for Sheva is、uh, very advanced and it's、um, very customized for how the user will play through the game. So when the、uh, user Is in trouble and wants Sheva to back them up, then the AI will be able to do that. Or when the user、uh, just wants Sheva to hang back as support, she, you know, Sheva will automatically do that as well. We were having you know, some big discussions in the development team, and we were thinking about different things that we could do. And, and you know, multiplayer is one of the things we were thinking about what we could do. But、um, one of the things that resulted from that discussion was、uh, what we have announced here at TGS, which was the uh, split screen uh, offline co op. Um, so that was actually what we went ahead and, and developed first, and、uh, we really we haven't reached any decisions on, on multiplayer modes、uh, just yet. The way we set up the achievements、uh, in the game is that there won't be any achievements that you, you can't get because you're playing the, the, the co op mode, so it, it, it won't,、uh, won't penalize you.、Um, however, there may be some achievements that you can only get by playing through the co op mode. We really like、uh, the Wii, we think it's a wonderful piece of hardware, so We are definitely thinking about ways we can bring the Resident Evil series to the Wii, but it may be、uh, a couple of years down the road just yet. What we're mostly working on right now is balancing the difficulty levels,、uh, doing the bug checking, and just overall working out the, the whole scale of the game and how the game fits together as a whole package. Fans of the Resident Evil series are、uh, used to seeing some、um, you know, strange and interesting mini games and、uh, bonuses after they complete the,、uh, the main game. But、um, I think one of the most、uh, important things about those is that you don't really know what it's going to be until you've cleared the game first. So you're、uh, going to have to make you wait until you get the game in your hands and、uh, play through it to see what it is. But I can tell you that、uh, there will be some、uh, great bonus modes and、uh, mini games. Splendid timing! You still are just in time for the fireworks show! Up until now, we've been saying that the game experience would be about、uh, 20 hours long, but actually, we, we've ended up with a lot more material than that, and we think it's probably going to be about 30 hours long. So, what you're seeing in those trailers is really just、uh, you know, a small portion of what you're going to see in the game itself. So,、um, after TGS, directly after TGS, we are going to take a little break from releasing、um, some information, but we do plan to release、uh, more information and more trailers up. Uh, until the game's release. <laughs>